let's understand what is etic approach and emic approach in culture now what happens in sometimes the researcher is from a certain culture and they want to study people from different countries altogether or different cultures altogether in this scenario in this case uh, the researcher is looking at different culture from their own lens from my personal lens for example i am a researcher i am indian and i am seeing the other cultures i want to do research in america i'm i want to do research in london or some other cultures and i see their problems as a very universal scenario as a very uh, common human behavior this is a general human behavior that happens to everybody so i make a hypothesis as a researcher before even going to the field before actually carrying out my research because i feel this is something universal and can be generalized throughout anywhere at all irrespective of the culture for example depression now depression is like feeling very very sad and then there are other symptoms of depression of course we are not going too much into it so if i want to study depression now depression i feel as a researcher is same in america same in london same in australia same in india same in china depression is same amongst the human being irrespective of their culture so i plan to study i plan to take an approach that is called etic approach that is universal in nature and that can be applied to anybody now in this scenario i make a hypothesis and i try you know doing the research take the approach the procedure in a very universal manner now second is emic approach emic approach is that sometimes there are few things which are very cultural specific and i as a researcher need to understand the culture of the people of the participants who are going to study or who are going to participate in my study for example i am an indian and i plan to uh, do a study on people who are from china or who are from australia or america so i need to first go there talk to local people understand their language understand their family system their society their do's and don'ts their set of beliefs and attitudes and then i start my research for example let's say uh, in some societies there is a lot of you know conflict between the girl and the mother in law in the families then in the western side there are conflicts never much between girl and the mother in law it's more between the mother in law and the son in law so mother and son in law yeah so that is the you know conflict that usually happens so each society has their own kind of conflicts own kind of set of beliefs so i cannot study a culture or maybe those participants are not comfortable with me because i'm not understanding their culture so in order to understand in order to make them believe me it is important that i understand their culture their language their society and only then i you know do the research so this is called an emic approach in emic approach the hypothesis is not made before going to the field it is done after uh the researcher gets used to or gets mingled up with the other culture and then only they start with the research work now there is a limitation there are pros and cons of both the approaches etic is important then there are some things that are universally true across all the cultures so etic approach can be more generalized we can replicate the study we can you know uh, do the study more number of times across the different cultures so that is etic approach sometimes some studies are to be done only cult a uh, very cultural specific that is emic approach so the problem is that we cannot use this kind of approach everywhere and the studies cannot be replicated so i hope you understood the difference between etic approach and emic approach again if you have not understood anything please feel free to write in the comments below i will make you understand with more better examples and i might upload another video for the same like share and subscribe